Well, it's time to come clean, I suppose, and let everyone know who's behind the scenes, who's pulling all the strings in all of my content, who's telling me literally every word I say, defining the narrative for me, finding topics for me, and being gracious enough to even allow me to keep 100% of the earnings. That's right, I must inform you now that um, my boss has been doxxed, outed. And uh, unfortunately, I, I suppose I must address this information directly. That's right, it's Jeremy Griggs from Geeks and Gamers. That's right, the pathetic smear attempt by the cat food eating, lonely, sad individuals uh, also call themselves Raylos often, uh, have put together a IMDB page which shows Jeremy Griggs as a producer on my channel. 195 episodes between 2019 and 2021. They did all of this work. They literally took the time to make thousands of entries. Also, to implicate that Star Wars girl, Young Rippa, comics artist Pro Secrets, The Matriarchy, Nerd Rotic, Popcorn Planet, Heels vs. Babyface, apparently, in oh, Midwestly too, thousands of entries. Why? Why is it? Why? Why would anyone spend all day to do this? <sighs> because they want to implicate him as some sort of weirdo leader of of movement. Now, I can tell you this. Uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers has never advised me on a video topic in what? 2000 episodes. I don't think he's even ever sent me like an article to look at. We talked briefly about the Zack Snyder situation, but these weirdos keep trying, they, they keep organizing. I mean, could you imagine if these people used their insane obsession for good? Look at this. Is the backbone of the fandom menace who incites followers to quote, Fight back against those who oppose bigotry. We've seen these tactics from, quote, jokes of very bad behavior to supporting the doxing of women. This isn't a fan community. This is a hate group. And w what this is, you know, is they're trying to rewrite history. Here's another example. The quartering claims that I deserve to be doxxed because I lied about him. Arguments made against that logic aside, he forgets that we've only ever used their words. So here are more words revealing that the doxing was organized by Comicsgate and brought to the Quarterings Network. I don't have a network. Just me and my cats. You see, hello again, Team YouTube. Please see the dangerous behavior of the Quartering and remove their channel from your platform. You know what I actually said? You're right. I couldn't care less that these vile people got doxxed. I don't care. I don't care one bit. I also continue to say, I also said in the video that I still disavow it. I wish nothing but sadness and failure to those behind rewriting Ripley. You can quote me on that. And you can. You hear that, Katie? It is my deepest hope that you live a horrible, horribly unfulfilling life. Now, of course, I would prefer you change your ways and start trying to be a positive person. But if this is what your end goal is, this is how you want to spend your time dragging down others and lying about them. Why on earth would I care about you?
They don't care. They don't care about the truth. How about that Star Wars girl having this person? I'm surprised there's not a blue butterfly in their profile. Tell me again how women in this fandom aren't harassed and that I'm a liar. Yes, a woman is being harassed and mass flag in targeted harassment campaign. And guess what? It's not you, Meg. It's me. You don't like that I called you out for your lives with facts, so you're calling for the deplatforming and targeted harassment of me, a woman. 19 hours ago, Meg. Hey, YouTube. Why is this video still up over six months after I originally reported it for harassment? There are certain things I'd never like to hear myself referred to as again. Thank you. Of course, why are why why are far lefties like yourself who love diversity except diversity of thought when fellow women like that Star Wars girl think differently? Then you're off an awful type of person. This this thread is full of women. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> this thread is full of women pointing out that this woman does not speak for them. And that Star Wars girl has often faced a lot of vile um, hate from people because she doesn't stick to the mainstream narrative, essentially. You can see here posting, join me and my co-host for a special show addressing the toxicity many are ignoring in the Star Wars fandom. This has to stop. I've never seen like this level of projection before. You know, before this group of about 500 people, well, about 100 people with five accounts each, before they spun this all up. And hey, I'm thankful for it. Thank you, guys. Seriously. You hear that? SGW Spider-Man and, and Katie and rewriting Ripley. Thank you. This has been great content in a time that's been a relatively significant news drought. So thank you. I really enjoy making a ton of money, making fun of the... Uh, hypocrisy that you espouse. This is not about me or my 200 plus receipts. This is about every Star Wars fan who's ever been harassed, bullied, and told they don't belong. Okay, what well, well, should be about me then, right? Because your group of people are literally saying that you don't want me in the Star Wars fandom, that I don't belong here. This is what a crowd has created, an environment where people have to lock down their accounts because of dips on the internet. F you all. These people have no, you know, they have no problem going after Anna from that Star Wars girl, do they? They have no problem just perpetuating heinous lies and, and gumming up uh, all of Team YouTube's time. And you can't expect, and by the way, this screenshot they show here is from the farms proving that I had nothing to do with their information coming out. Their information was out days before I ever made the video, but they don't care. They don't care about the truth. Look, I support um, Anna from that Star Wars girl. I, I support Geeks and Gamers and Drunk 3PO and even Cecil. Um... You know, a lot of people that create content in the same space. I don't consider myself a part of the fandom menace, so to speak. Um, but I do respect what they're trying to do. And I respect their their love for Star Wars and, and, and its purity. You know, me, I enjoy Star Wars. But, you know, the fact of the matter is... It's just another in a long list of great things that have been ruined by modern day uh, politics. I mean, the idea that you would have this person in charge of well, my channel, who took all this time? Josiah Rise's RK Outpost, Critical Drinker, Yellow Flash, Drunk 3PO, Mecha Random, Overlord DVD, all 459 episodes. Like you have to ent enter these manually. Somebody went through and this is the level of obsession that we're dealing with. By the way, this page should be reported. It is full of fake information. Uh, I've already reported it and you should too. Because it's 
being used. So what it's it's going to be used for is uh, a part of another hit piece where they're going to say, this guy's behind everything. And, you know, I keep sticking my neck out here. They're not really coming after me directly. They've made a few stupid lies. But, like, they're really after EVS. And they're really after Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. So I don't know if this is a former employee or somebody that, you know, is deeply, deeply angry with them. But uh, it's pathetic and needs to stop. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.